Hi everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on using physical counts in NCR Counterpoint. Now, let's get started. First, we need to create a list of items to count. To do this, we're going to go to Inventory, then Physical Count, then select the first option, Physical Count Create. At the top is our location. We have the option to do a count for multiple locations if we wish, but typically you will leave this at the default option. Below, we have filters that allow us to create or freeze specific items based on criteria. If you want to create a physical count for the whole store, you will leave all of these filters blank and hit the button marked create. This will freeze the inventory of all items in their current quantities so Counterpoint can keep better track of inventory during this count. For this tutorial, I am going to select a single item category to create a physical count for. Let's choose Apparel. With our filter selected, we can then choose the Create button. After some processing, Counterpoint will display a message asking if we want to view the worksheet. Let's take a look. This is the standard worksheet, which can be printed off for staff to note the quantities as they go around the store. There are more options available for this worksheet, which will be covered at the end of this tutorial. So now we have completed counting the items and we have our completed worksheet. The next step is to enter our quantities. We do this under Physical Count Enter, option 3 in the Physical Count folder. The standard window that is displayed in Counterpoint allows you to enter the quantities you have written down. Navigating between each item using the blue arrows in the toolbar above, you can add the quantities, the name of who counted it, and any notes or comments you would like to add to the record. The second method can be a bit faster. By selecting the Table View button, all items on our physical count list are now displayed and we are able to select the cell for an item under the count quantity 1 and enter our amount, then just click to the next one. As we move to each item, Counterpoint automatically saves our changes. There is, however, an exception to this. As you can see, we are able to put a number into our second item, a hat in this case, but not into other items. This is because some items, like clothing, have multiple sizes and colours, something Counterpoint calls gridded items, which we must address. For these items, we do need to work in the standard view, as this gives us an option to select each individual size or colour, then Counterpoint will add them all together for that item. Flipping back to our table view, we can see the total quantity of each item we have entered in. I could continue to enter in numbers for each item, flipping between the two views for gridded and regular items, but for this example, I am going to leave it here. When you are done, be sure to click the Save button to keep any data entered. At this point, I am going to close the physical count enter. We can reopen this window at a later time to continue on our list. For this tutorial, all we wanted to count is done, and we want to commit, or post, our changes to the database. First thing we must do is make sure all windows pertaining to physical counts are closed. Then we go to physical count post. From here we have a number of options. First we have the option to only post specific item quantities using the filters below. Assuming we would want to post all of our changes and not leave remaining items frozen, we will leave these filters blank. Now onto the really important parts. The first is posting date. Physical counts are usually started and completed within the same day. However, it is possible that a count with a large number of items could take up to several days to complete. This allows you to define a specific date the count is to take effect on, which affects how quantities are calculated with regards to things like receivings, transfers and sales tickets. In almost all cases, the best option is to simply leave the date blank and select Use Freeze Date instead. Finally, we have to tell Counterpoint what we want to do with any items we have not provided a count quantity for. The first option zeroes out all inventory you have frozen and have not added a quantity for. 
Now you have to be careful with this one because if you have put your whole store on account and then end up only counting a few items and post with this option selected, you will reduce all of your other item quantities to zero and may have to go through a full store count to correct your inventory. If, however, you have only frozen a few items, you are happy with the remaining uncounted items being reduced to zero, then use this option as it will mean you won't have to manually put zeros in for everything, just like we have done in this tutorial. The next option is to assume quantity on hand is correct. As you may have guessed, this allows for items we have not put any quantities in to stay the same. We typically recommend this one if you are at all unsure. Finally, there is the skip option. This allows you to post all counted items and leave uncounted items on the physical count list so you can keep working on them at a later date. For our example, I am going to select assume quantity on hand is correct and then select post to commit. Finally, we have an option to view a journal entry. This is a simple report showing the record CounterPoint has made of this physical count should you want to print one for your own record keeping. You can also view this report on CounterPoint, as well as the main physical count report, in the Inventory Reports section or by searching Physical Count in the search bar above. This concludes the steps needed to successfully complete a basic physical count. Upon creating a physical count, we had a prompt to view the worksheet. Although this worksheet is typically pretty good, there are some extra options we can add to this sheet to make physical counts easier. First, we actually close this worksheet. Then we close physical count create and select option 2, physical count worksheet. This allows us to print our worksheet as before, but we now have the option to add a few extra bits into it, such as a frozen quantity. This gives staff counting an idea of what CounterPoint is expecting them to find on the shelf, as well as a breakdown of individual cells for gridded items. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on physical counts for NCR CounterPoint. As always, should you require further assistance, please do not hesitate to ask and one of our CounterPoint solution specialists will be happy to assist.